guys welcome back and welcome to another sit down video all right let me quickly excuse this in case you hear me sounding funny yeah that is because of my nose all right so it's pretty cold today and i can't believe in april it's still snow like i'm talking to you right now it's rainy and i just got back from work i'm cold which is why i am like this just in case you have questions about that all right so um as you can already tell by the title you know what i'm going to be talking about today oh god i'm not feeling comfortable talking to you guys like this i need to solve it one second all right so like i said earlier as you guys can tell by the title you know what i'm going to be talking about today and whenever i'm talking about things like this or things that has to do with experience i like to make it as real as possible which is why i always use myself my experience um as an example or rather sharing my experience with you guys reflecting it on what i am talking about i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so guys um i remember back then when i was still very little back then in nigeria um whenever i hear people say oh so 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 and so is back home after so many years or maybe neighbors friends families you know anyone at all and i hear them say oh this person is back after five years okay five years is even late let's say after 10 years 15 years 12 years 20 years you know they are back home or rather they are visiting home for the first time and that left me wondering like why will someone want to stay away so long that they are just visiting home now for the first time i kept wondering about that for a very long time and years 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 later here i am here i am in the same situation you know as back then okay and Whenever I think of the city, whenever I think of it now, I'm like, oh wow, these are some of the reasons. Hmm, I see. Okay, let me not beat around the bush. Let me go straight to the point. Like I said, I'm going to use myself as an example. I am more than five years now in Germany, about to be six years in Germany. All right, and now I just got, or I'll say recently, I just got my residence permit okay so let's say six years and without resident permit you can't travel you can't go anywhere like you can't visit home which is for sure all right that is six years let's just say six years is off ground and then your resident permit is not the only thing you need to travel all right let's not go that far yet okay so now you've gotten your resident permit or whatever or as we call it document paper okay so now you've gotten it around say so now i have gotten it i cannot just travel just like that because a, a reasonable person you will not just okay one week after or one month after or two months after you want to make that huge uh um, travel how would i say it? you want to take that huge journey you won't you can't all right maybe some people do but it is very very rare and this is why one you want to work on that document because you've been given that document in the hope that you're going to get a job you start paying taxes paying um doing the necessary things you're supposed to do as a citizen of a not a citizen maybe like as a person living in a country you understand those things you're going to be paying you working paying your taxes and all of that are going to help you build your document to a better standard you understand so you will need to do that for a period of time as well let's say for let's say minimum one year then from there or maybe from one year two years three years so on and so forth so to as long as i don't know to as long as it, it is possible okay let's just say three years three years plus six years nine years don't go right <laughs> it don't come over there okay now that is off ground let's talk about um stability you as a person 
in the place you're living how stable are you how comfortable are you in terms in general we have to think about that then we have to think about the financial aspect of it you want to go to africa okay, let's say africa you want to go to africa for a visit you need to prepare especially when you stayed for these long you can just wake up one day and just board the plane and go straight to africa for a visit everyone is expecting you to come home loaded it is the fact guys maybe some of you will be hearing this now you'll be laughing it is the fact everyone will be expecting you to come home loaded and if you as a person you're conscious of that and you want to prepare trust me one year not going to be you to prepare for that kind of preparation mm -mm. you need one year two years or maximum as long as you can how many years they go 10 11 years 12 years <laughs> It don't they go so there are a lot of things that hold people back from not visiting home on time I'm sharing this because I want to share light on it as much as I can or rather using my own experience my own self to show light on this because I know majority of my family are watching this video right now majority of my family are watching me all right both home and abroad and those abroad i believe some of you have idea of what i'm talking about right now and those at home who do not have idea about this yes this is it this is why most of us stays abroad for so long before coming home because there are a lot of things to do it's not i remember i, I said immediately i get my residence permit the first place i'm going to visit is denmark at least that one is still europe I'm, I'm going to pay my friend a visit in denmark up to today after one year i still haven't been able to make that move all right and now this one is just europe it's not even about tickets or whatever because it is way way cheaper than traveling to africa you understand but there are other things that are holding people back so there are a lot of things there are a lot of factors that are holding people back from making those um we like call it heavy uh, um uh, journey heavy v um, heavy visits or something like that you get so it's not just it is not just only document it's not just only money it's not just um um the time oh let's talk about time let's say you're someone that works now except you have free time at work you cannot make such journey and due to what i understand the maximum maximum holiday period is always like um 10 days 10 days to 14 10 days to 14 days except you have to combine um days or rather some holidays together before you can have like one month or four weeks you know which is one month like that you understand so there are a lot of factors that are holding people back from visiting home i'm sharing this with you right now because these are some of the things i am facing you get i remember i made a video some other time ago saying or telling you guys how much i am homesick you think i haven't thought of going home to see my parents to see my family and all of that you think i haven't thought of it but there are other factors that wouldn't allow me make such journey at this point in time you get so i just want our families back home to understand some of the reasons why most of us stay um so long in their abroad according to them in their abroad before visiting home because it's not easy you understand so this is what i want to share with you guys today i hope i was able to bring out the point the main point in this video and i hope you guys get my point you understand please i would also like you to share your thought with me in the comment section or rather share your thought with us in the comment section below let me know what you think about this topic i think i'm dipping more into reality talk these days and the fact that they are real life experience just makes me enjoy sharing these um, um these experiences with you 
so this is what i have to share with you guys today also share your thought in the comment section below or if you want to show more light or share um yeah show more light on these actual topic please do drop your thought in the comment section below because i know a lot of people are reading the comments and they they all get we all get to learn from each other right and get to know about others experiences so yeah this is basically it don't forget to subscribe turn on the post notification bell share with friends and family whoever you want them to see this video and um please follow me up on instagram at delia's empire also my business page on instagram at delia's brand subscribe to my beauty channel delia's empire the link to everything will be in the description bar so this is basically it just in case you've missed my other stories you know regarding to my experience here in germany i already created a playlist for you guys so uh you might check it out at the end screen or you can go on my channel and you will see the playlist living in germany all right or rather my spring yeah living in germany is the title of the playlist so you can um go watch others and get to know me as well and get to know about my experience here in germany so far so this is basically it for today and this is where i'm going to end this video so until next time guys watch out for delia's vlog